Did you know that it is our sin and bad behavior that attracts demons into our lives? A lot of people have the misconception that demons jump on us and then we start be behaving poorly or, you know, uh, acting out in sin. But the truth is, it is us who allow the demons in through our bad behavior and poor decisions and lack of submission to God. And I'll give you an example of this in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 12, and I'm going to read from verse 7. It says, And lest I should be exalted above measure by the abundance of the revelations, a thorn in the flesh was given to me, a messenger of Satan, to buffet me, lest I be exalted above measure. Concerning this, I pleaded with the Lord three times that it might depart from me. And he said, My, my grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Now, it was because of pride that God sent this messenger of Satan to buffet uh, Paul's flesh so that he would not be become exalted above measure. Okay, so God sent him that tormenting demon to humble him. We could also see an example of this when God sent Saul, King Saul, a tormenting spirit because of his pride and rebellion. Now, if you're constantly finding yourself in a place of bondage and asking yourself, why does this demon keep targeting me? Why does this spirit keep trying to attach itself to me? You have to examine yourself and ask yourself, what behaviors have I exhibited to invite this spirit into my life to harass me? Now, given there are some spirits that attach themselves to us from the womb because of generational curses and sin and so forth, but... We have to make an active effort to break those demonic cycles, to get out of the generational uh, sin, break the cycle of curses in your life by surrendering to God, submitting to Him, and living in holiness. It's also very important to get healing, okay, to not give demons uh, an open doorway to torment you because of the wounds in your life. However, I will tell you that in order for us to get full deliverance, we have to die to self daily. That means self-denial, okay, really surrendering to God. If you have an issue with pride or submitting unto the Lord in certain areas, even rebellion, whatever it may be, lust, whatever your issue is, lay face down on the ground and cry out to the Lord for deliverance, okay? Because we can't keep blaming demons for attacking us when we are inviting them into our lives. This also includes forgiving the people that we need to forgive because holding on to unforgiveness can also invite tormenting spirits. The Word of God says if we don't forgive those who have sinned against us, that God will turn us over to the tormentors. And if you keep finding yourself in the same cycle of sin, you know, repetitive cycles that you can't seem to break free from, then I encourage you to come and get deliverance, okay? Because sometimes we just need somebody to pray for us and even counsel us in certain areas. So if you need deliverance or counseling or inner, inner healing, okay, you can feel free to click on the link in my bio and set up a session. I'll be happy to pray for you. God bless you in Yeshua's name.